In 2013, the central government returned over 300 land titles to Uganda Kingdom. The titles are part of the 350 square miles of land which the government of former President Milton Obote regime confiscated from the kingdom. Officials from Uganda Kingdom led by Land Minister Ingini Amatnika II appeared before the Commission of Inquiry. They revealed that the Minister of Lands and the Uganda Lands Commission are reluctant to transfer the titles despite the President's directive. These titles were returned. Uh, many of them were still in the old names, the Sabagabo, Mitube, Vido of where. So some of them, are, we have taken them to the Minister of Lands for visiting them to the Kabaka of Uganda. And some of them have not yet been touched. Then there are also those still where ULC is still involved. The Managing Director of the Uganda Land Board, Chiwara Yemare, said out of the 300 land titles which were returned to Uganda, only eight have been transferred so far. We have so far only changed, I think, eight titles out of the 300 which were returned in 2013. So we still have that kind of the Mengo officials told the commission that some of the titles returned to Uganda had been given away as freehold titles. Actually, uh, some of them are freehold. Some of them are freehold. Uh, freehold, which were returned to the Kabaka in 2013. They, 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 I think the problem is, uh, is this in the Ministry of Lands because I've seen a directive from the president saying that these titles were returned and they should be vested and the process is not moving on. There has also been situations where we have inherited leases from former bodies like Uganda Land Commission, the District Land Board. Now, it's, it's a common experience that they've offered leases uh, in contravention of the law because they're not supposed to issue leases to, um, uh, to people in, uh, in, in full knowledge of other rights that they're not compensated. So we've seen 200, 300 acre plots of land having as many people there on, and these people are not aware that actually somebody has a land title that covers their land, and these titles were issued by ULC or this land board. It is imagined that one of the titles returned is where Kigo Prison is located in Wakiso district. Various barracks, Chigo Prison, Makindi, Bomb, all these are on government Kabaka's land, but we have been living with them, so that should not be the reason we are shouldn't. So it's just a negligence somewhere, all slow pace. What about the town center? Uh, that one I will not comment about it. <laughs> <laughs> the Mengo government is also concerned about the government's arrangements to amend the constitution to allow compulsory acquisition of land for investment and infrastructure development. It brings a lot of, a, a lot of resistance. And uh, maybe when you talk about a, a big landlord that is that's the Kabaka, uh, maybe they are, he can wait for, for all those years. I believe when you talk about compulsory acquisition, probably Kabaka has been a, a victim. I know many government projects going on where Kabaka has never been paid. Meanwhile, the executive director of the Uganda National Road Authority, Arani Kajina, also appeared before the commission and called for the amendment of the constitution to ease the government's acquisition of land for infrastructure development. The law regulating land should be amended to empower government to take over land for public projects. The authority informed the commission that 33 road projects have stalled due to disagreements over compensation. We have Kampala and Tebe Expressway. It is being faced with the challenge of land ownership wrangles. We have um, uh, Mukono Katosi Road. It is also facing a similar problem. But this is generic. It is generic. It cuts across all our projects. Jingo Francis, NTV.